new videos every day. Hello, I'm Dr. Vanessa Fritz. I'm a naturopathic doctor and licensed acupuncturist. I wanted to talk to you about a cold laser that I'm starting to use in my practice. Um, this is the probe of the laser, and what it does is it shoots out laser light in a specific frequency and wavelength um, in order to help stimulate the body's healing mechanisms. Just like plants, the, um, our cells in our body can be sensitive to light, and the light will trigger mechanisms for the cell to make more energy. Um, as the cell does this, it increases the rate of metabolism of the cell, and so it can, help process, it can help the cell process whatever inflammatory reaction it might be processing, as is usually the case in pain. So pain relief is one of the main indications for laser therapy. Um, as the light uh, goes into the body, the person receiving the laser usually doesn't feel very much, if anything at all. Even though it's called cold laser, the person might feel a little bit of warmth as the light yeah, heats up and emits a little bit of heat. Um, it's called cold laser because it's cold in comparison to other lasers such as surgical lasers or hair removal lasers. There is no worry that this type of laser is going to burn the skin or cause any damage to the skin. However, about 10% of the population does not react to laser for whatever reason we don't understand. Um, the laser can, as it increases the cell metabolism, um, it can make you feel a little bit more sore than you were, um, and this is just a sign that the laser is working. And as the body finishes processing the inflammatory reactions it was processing, then the person usually feels pain relief, and um, it feels the muscle stiffness and agnes go away. Uh, the pain relief can last anywhere from hours to days, depending on how acute or chronic the situation has been. Um, there are a few contraindications for laser therapy. Any person who is, um, is specifically sensitive to light, such as, for example, lupus patients, are often told to stay away from the light because the light can make certain chemical reactions in their body that's not helpful for them, um, which is unfortunate because lupus patients will often complain of a lot of pain. Um, people who have recently had cortisone injections in their joints, for example, uh, laser therapy isn't contraindicated per se, but it won't be helpful at all because the cortisone uh, interferes with the exact same uh, reactions that the laser light is uh, trying to promote in the body. So it's a really wonderful non-invasive way for uh, helping somebody get rid of pain and inflammation. Um, arthritis is a major um, source of pain that people will come seek laser treatment for. Uh, people with uh, tendon and ligamentous tears or um, sometimes come in for laser because another side benefit of the laser is that it increases blood flow to the area. Tendons and ligaments are tissues that normally don't get good uh, perfusion, don't get good blood flow, and so the laser is wonderful for helping those tissues heal. Um, athletes enjoy coming to get laser because they will recover from a strenuous exercise faster and it also helps them prevent any um, injuries and in spots that they know that are weak. So a lot of times before a race, an athlete might come in and get their knee lasered or their um, ankle laser so that it doesn't bother them during the race. So um, people who are doing um, re uh, repetitive activities and people who have repetitive stress um, might have um, some benefits from the laser. Obviously, if the inflammation and pain is coming from a certain activity, what you need to do is stop that activity and let your body rest and heal. But for some people that can't stop that activity, at least that the laser helps them go through their day in, a, in, a, in less pain. Okay, well this is Karina and she's coming to me today because she's complaining of wrist and forearm pain from uh, overuse with her guitar and typing. So what we will do is we'll put the laser, the laser probe, over the skin. Her skin is clean and dry. Um, we don't want to use the laser over um, a lot of lotions um, or anything like that. And what you see here, you don't really see too much other than me pressing on the spots where she has told me she has pain. Um, I suspect that she has a lot of trigger points along the muscles in her forearm here. And so what the laser light will do is will help treat these trigger points. 
And what you hear in the background is a couple of beeps, and that is just my laser telling me how much energy has been delivered. Um, usually what we do is about two joules of energy per point with this type of laser probe. And so what I will be doing is just slowly moving down her arm and um, treating the entire length of that muscle. Ideally, we will treat it from its origin to its insertion point. And we will usually treat an area that's a little bit larger than the area the patient complains of for pain, just to make sure that we get every muscle and, and tendon and ligament that might be involved in this pain process. So right now here, what we're doing is we're treating the muscle belly um, for, of, of several muscles of her forearm, but we could just as easily be treating um, the vertebrae in the neck, for example, for neck pain or in the spine for back pain, depending on where the pain is. So pain and inflammation are the major reasons for people, for people seeking cold laser therapy. Um, and that's what I use it for in my practice. Um, however, there has been research on a number of applications of cold laser, uh, for cold laser. Um, it can help rehabilitate stroke patients. Um, there have been a few studies that show it helping with skin conditions such as acne and psoriasis um, because they can have a basis, uh, a basis of these conditions is inflammation. Um, for stroke patients, what helps is the increased circulation to the brain. And what's interesting is that the, the bones in the brain and our skull can be uh, transparent to this type of laser. So. You're not just lasering the bone, but you are lasering the, the brain tissue underneath that bone. So when we are helping somebody with sciatica, for example, and they have a lot of padding on their bottoms, um, a technique that we can do is just to push a little bit harder with the laser to try to get some of that superficial tissue out of the way so that we can reach the tissue that we uh, would like the light to reach. A lot of different conditions such as uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, sciatica, any sort of ankle sprain or strain, uh, wound healing. There's a lot of wound healing applications. Um, patients with diabetic ulcers or stasis ulcers can benefit from this type of treatment. As a matter of fact, I've seen cases in which um, a foot that was scheduled to be amputated could was saved after months of laser therapy treatment. Um, pain relief can be anywhere from instantly to several hours after the laser treatment. So there's no way to really predict how one person is going to respond because everybody is unique. Most people will report that a laser session just feels relaxing. They get to lie down and um, the, the sensation of warmth on um, their skin and their area of pain is usually one that is pleasant to them. Um, occasionally somebody with an acute injury, the, the pressure that I have to apply with a probe is something that uh, they don't like. So it can be a little painful to the touch for a few people. But overall, it's a very safe, effective, and non-invasive way to um, help people with their pain. So for um, patients and clients of mine who might be afraid of acupuncture and the needles involved in acupuncture, I offer cold laser treatment um, if, for pain, if they're coming in for pain and inflammation. Um, it's gentle and non-invasive and um, can really help somebody get out of uh, the pain that they're experiencing and increase blood flow to the area. And again, I'm Dr. Vanessa Fritz. Uh, I'm a naturopathic doctor and licensed acupuncturist.